Welcome to another edition of CC News, coming at you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this I am from Nacogdoches County, Nacogdoches, Texas, and uh, I have been harassed for a number of years, and I kind of knew who it was and felt it was coming from the law enforcement uh, area and due to corruption, and you know this can be ended with a simple private investigation ladies and gentlemen I, I just want you to know here's the evidence right here okay excuse me these are lawsuits to Nacogdoches County there's one right there that this one right here is the sheriff Jason Bridges of Nacogdoches County the district attorney who was cooperating with Sheriff Bridges and uh, the, I think it was the county attorney. Anyway, they were illegally wiretapping phones, recording conversations, and using them to do harm. There's the good sheriff's name right there, Nacogdoches County. Um, let's get over here. I just want to show you. Now, if you're recording a phone conversation and giving it to third parties to do harm, I think it's what it says, in early May 2021, Brandon Fincham, custodial inmate, Nacogdoches, Texas, absolute attorney-client relationship. He had an uh, attorney-client relationship. And then we get a wiretapping by the county of Nacogdoches Sheriff. The call was recorded and is confidential content shared with others wow that confidential information was then used to harm the plaintiff okay ladies and gentlemen i mean if that don't sound like uh somebody recording something illegally listen i had a situation at my house where i was having a conversation with a young lady and six hours later i was being tagged with death threats on facebook and so that conversation was nearly word for word, okay? That's what I'm talking about in Nacogdoches County, Nacogdoches, Texas. It is not safe, ladies and gentlemen. People are worried about my well-being right now for putting this out here. Listen, I need your help. I need everybody that's getting gang stalked to see this. Basically, I'm going to give you a run through. We're trying to end the whole corrupt thing. I know it's happening. I'm a truck driver. I have driven trucks from county to county to county, and it's very easy for one of these yahoos to pick up their phone and call the sheriff down at the next county that's crooked too, and have him have his officers waiting down there. You know, they got this uh, code blue, uh, Johnny Blue Boy uh, brotherhood, you know what I mean? Well, we're going to break Johnny Blue Boy brotherhood up. Because he's corrupt, you hear me? There are some good officers out there. Not many anymore. And these bad ones are making the good ones look very bad. We're wanting to get rid of people like Mr. Bridges here and Mr. Jones. Uh, I want to just show you. Here. Well, let's just watch this. This is a true story. On all counts, after a years-long investigation, former Santa Clara County Sheriff Lori Smith was convicted of corruption, corruption. and misconduct. We had a system where there were two different standards, and under the law, exactly. everyone should be treated fairly and equally. Lori Smith convicted on six charges in a civil corruption case. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach. The guilty verdict comes just three days after Smith abruptly resigned from the sheriff's office. That's KTV what I want Bridges reporter to do. LaMonica Peters he live tonight in San Jose with more from the district attorney as well as what happens next. LaMonica. The DA told me that they've been working on this case for about four years, and today a jury agreed that Lori Smith had been doing things that she should not have been doing and that it was time to hold her accountable. Amen. 